Hey what's up guys, welcome to Mission Making 101. In the first video of Mission Making 101, I will be showing you how to set up a respawn, how to set up an arsenal, and of course a vehicle respawn. So let's get into it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put down a unit, so that can be any unit, blue 4, up 4, whatever. And we're going to go into attributes multiplayer, and respawn should be enabled on the custom position. So let's go and do that. Uh, and that's all you need to do. So let's just click OK here. Let's go into markers now. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a empty marker, put it here somewhere, double click. And the variable name should be respawn underscore west. And that's all. You don't have to do any more than that. Now what we're going to do in order to see if this works, we have to be playing this in multiplayer. So play in multiplayer is going to make a lobby. We're just going to slot up. And now that we're in game, we're just going to go and press respawn. There we go. So in order to see if you don't respawn on your body, let's just step away from it. There we go. So now you can see that it actually works because I put it right here. Okay, the next is going to be multiple respawns. So I'm going to get a reference point here. Uh... I'll be putting down a guy with a blue shirt and with a red shirt. Then I'm going to get two respawns in here. I'm going to delete the empty marker. Now I need to see if this guy is the one with, yeah, that's the blue shirt guy. So uh, I will call this with a select marker, respawn west blue. And this guy should be respawn west. Uh, orange or something. There we go. Now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and go back into attributes. Now right here, there are two boxes you have to tick. Select respawn position and loadout. And we're going to put the delay on at least one second. You need a delay in order to have multiple respawns to work. Now we're just going to press OK and let's load into the game and see if it works. So as you can see, I loaded in. It's all working correctly. I can select what grid I want to spawn at. Uh, also, if you give it a name, it will just say the name. So uh, you don't need to see uh, the grid here. But as you can see, I spawned on the blue shirt guy. So everything is working correctly. Setting up a vehicle respawn is also quite easy. All you need to do is you want to go to multiplayer, go to vehicle respawn, and then you can change up some parameters. For this, this instance, I'm going to have a two uh, second delay and a deserted distance of five meters. Now I'm just going to link this to a vehicle. There we go. So let's see if this works. So right now I'm here. I'm going to go into the driver slot. couple meters. Get out and then desert it. So as you can see it now respawned at the position where it had to be and that's basically how vehicle respawns work. So now that we set up our respawns the next thing that we're going to be teaching you guys is how to set up the arsenal. The arsenal can be set up in two ways. You can either set up an arsenal with the initialization code that I will be putting down in this in the description or I'm just going to get a filtered arsenal in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put down a supply box NATO and I will put down a supply box uh, IDAP. The IDAP one is going to be filtered and the NATO one is going to be with the code. So I'm just going to filter it first because I need to get the code from my uh, mission making handbook. So let's use the Bohemia Interactive one. Uh, the big difference is between the Bohemia Interactive one and the ACE box is that there's way more options here uh, and also easier stuff uh, to look for and you can also blacklist items which you cannot do in the virtual arsenal here so if someone were to load in a loadout with for example an M4 uh, and the M4 is blacklisted he will just be naked and cannot use that loadout uh, anyways so let's clear out the Bohemia Interactive one because I prefer to use this one in my opinion and what I'm gonna add is I'm just gonna add a gun uh, let's take the AK-15 for example, it's the easiest one to find. So that's the only thing 
that you can get out of this box. It's Arsenal, right? Yeah, it's virtual. All right. And the supply box, I'm going to fill in the code here. Okay, so here we go. And that's the code. Okay, so I'm going to spawn now. Uh, I'm also going to get rid of the respawns. I just want to be able to test this out easily. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. Delete, delete. And... I think I'll have to untick this maybe. Let's just do it like this. And let's play it in single player this time. Okay, so now we're here. Let's go and check out the arsenal. So, legit every weapon that you have in the game now, with all mods loaded, uh, is going to be in this box. So that's going to be a lot of weapons. Uh, also, all the maps, binoculars, night vision goggles, everything is in here. So that code is pretty useful if you just want to mess around with friends and play casually. Now, uh, if you want to have a filtered arsenal, this is what it's going to be looking like. This is the only thing you can take. You can take either the AK or the weapon that you already have, as you can see. So also, magazines for that specific weapon will be able to be given. So because I have a stinger, I can have a stinger rocket. Because I have a 5.7 in my inventory, I can also get a 5.7 mag. Because I have an AK in my hands, I can also add AK mags. Uh, so you don't necessarily have to add magazines, uh, but just be careful that it's not going to be blanks because that's going to suck big time. But that's basically all there is to say about this. So thank you guys for watching and see you in the next Mission Making 101 video.